Hey folks, Lionel here with Cowboy Boots Hats and Western Loft Enthusiasts. Today, I will be unboxing a brand new pair of JW Boot Company Stingray Cowboy Boots. Well, let's get into it. So before I get to talking about these here boots, I just want to let you know that these boots were sent to me by Blake, the owner of JW Boot Company, uh, for the purpose of this video. And it is in our agreement that I be completely honest in my review. So let's get into it. So first of all, it'll come in these uh, case here, uh, clear case, nice plastic case. Uh, so not in a traditional cardboard case as a uh, a lot of uh, boots would come in uh, from different companies, but uh, JW is a very unique boot company out of Pensacola, Florida. So um, let's, uh, let's open this here box here. So it does come with a lot of nice goodies. So first you're gonna get uh, some really nice boot boot shapers which are uh, really nice. Uh, they're, they're, uh, they're a company and they're uh, made in USA um much better than your uh, uh cardboard uh shaper uh deal that they put in the uh in the shaft it's basically a shaft shaper but uh much better than uh than your traditional cardboard deal uh, so you get that um and you also get a pair of jw boot company boot socks uh which are really nice um just the perfect thickness, uh, not too thick, not too thin, and uh, nice and tall. Uh, I bet they breathe really nice too. So uh, it's nice little things that uh, JW Boot Company gives that uh, you know a lot of other companies don't. Uh, and then uh, got this uh, bag, this little boutique bag, and uh, it's, uh, it says JW Boot Company right on there. Let me set this aside for a moment. And right in here, you get the Stingray boots. All right. I'm going to set these aside too. So here they are. Now, it did take me several weeks to get them because, uh, like I said, JW Boot Company is a very unique company. And... Uh, they actually make them uh, to order, so you kind of get to pick what you want in this deal, you know. So if you want a specific toe shape, uh, specific skin, you know, uh, colors, um, you name it. So I'm going to get into that uh, when I uh, get onto the rundown of these boots. So uh, let's start at the bottom here. I chose to go with uh, the traditional uh, leather sole, which is nice, nice good ear welt. Um, and, um, here you got a mix of brass nails and lemon wood pegs right there. And then you got a nice rubber heel cap, uh, with, uh, some brass nails to, uh, hold them down. And you got a, uh, leather stacked heel over here. Um, furthermore... Um, now this is something that I picked. This is a single stitch welt. I could have gone with a double stitch welt in this uh, configuration, but I chose to go with a single stitch welt and make the stitching in uh, black to kind of match it. Um, and then, uh, this is their Dallas toe. Now I love this toe very much. It's kind of like a French toe, uh, but a little bit wider. So it's, it's almost like a wide square toe and a mix of a French toe or like kind of like a wide French toe because it's a little narrower than, than your average wide square toe. Um, now uh, let's get into the vamp. Um, so the vamp is Stingray uh, as you can see now. Uh, a lot of uh, folks think that all the Stingray boots naturally have like a, a diamond in the middle uh, but they don't. Uh, they have the horn uh, that is traditional in, um, that, that's the Stingray horn. That's a natural calcium horn, 
but they never have a real diamond shape that's just put into the manufacturer to kind of highlight the that center horn but um blake from uh jw boot company decided not to put one in these now he does make other cowboy boots that has that option but i like the subtle touch of just kind of having the horn slightly highlighted over here without a big old diamond shape you know because uh they put those diamond shapes also in in, in cowboy print boots uh or sorry the uh, uh stingray print boots so uh with that that's not the case now in the past uh jw boot company has been known to not have the best counter but that is something that he actually fixed and i've never had a pair of jw boot company but uh feeling this counter here i would say it's a pretty solid counter uh not the hardest that i've ever felt but it's definitely a a, a good strong counter it's not the weakest one that i've ever felt so i'm sure that is an element that has been improved and i'm sure it will support you uh quite well especially on a dress boot you want something maybe with a little bit more uh, flexibility you don't want something too rigid um so uh it's i think that's a very good medium right here now uh with this vamp it has been stitched over here uh so it's it's pieced right there um and also uh you can see a little bit of it being pieced right over here now um so right here it's been it's been uh pieced pretty harshly but it's still it's still uh there and it, it looks it still looks nice i mean if you stack your jeans you can't barely notice it now um the shaft is something really nice uh that's something i really love a lot on uh the shaft because it is uh deer skin and deer skin is one of the best skins you can use i mean it is tough uh it is it is nice and strong and it breathes good and it's very supple uh as a matter of fact uh blake from jw boot company told me that that's his favorite uh and his everyday boot is is uh made out of deer skin not a lot of deer skin uh boot makers out there he does have a full deer skin deal but that's something we're going to talk about on another video uh but this uh shaft is deer skin which is nice now another thing that i was able to change on this boot was the stitching so uh you can actually choose the color of your stitching the one that he'll show in the picture it's kind of uh, uh blue and i decided to go for more of a silver subtle gray uh kind of um uh, stitching here and it is very subtle you can barely see it it kind of uh it's so subtle as a matter of fact it almost looks like a like a um a fine lining you know more than uh than a full stitching on there so that's a uh, pretty nice um also the pull tabs are deer skin and if you look here in the middle there is a piece of um of the uh stingray here which is a really nice touch um now going on the inside of the shaft you're still going to get your deer skin affair which is very nice the seam is unlike anything I've ever seen before. It's kind of got a little bit of a cloth seam, uh, but it's still done very well, and I'm sure uh, it will feel nice. Um, also, the insole is one of the best insole that I've ever seen. Um, now, the insole is something that I would actually get for any of my boots that would need an insole. Uh, essentially it is a piece of leather uh, over a very thin piece of cork I mean this is super thin uh, which I think that would be all you would need if you needed to take up a, a bit of a size now apparently from Blake at JW boot company this takes about a quarter of a size um, and and that is great so it's, it's just a perfect perfect insult in my opinion it's just a piece of leather over a cork and you can't get much better than that uh under that it looks like you have some kind of uh, a cloth lining 
uh, mixed or uh, mixed with leather, but uh, it does feel nice. So uh, just in case these boots don't fit, I mean, fortunately you have to take off this, and that would take off about a quarter size if uh, if need be. So uh, definitely, it is a uh, nice uh, nice pair of boots. All right, so here we are with the JW Stingray boots, and. Uh, Got my uh, JW boot socks on, which feels amazing, by the way. So uh, let's go ahead and try these on. Fit right in. Really comfortable. Now that uh, I had to remove the insole, unfortunately. But they do feel perfect right off the bat which is a very important thing when you uh, get a pair of Stingray boots because there's not much gift to them. All right, there we go. So here it is. Little bit of uh, stacking here. Side profile, front profile. Other side, back, and top. They do feel good. All right, folks. Well, here's my conclusion on these Stingray uh, boots from JW Boot Company. I picked the Stingray boots uh, for a very particular reason, and that is that uh, JW Boot Company is a very unique boot company where you can actually have your fit uh, a little bit more tailored. They're actually considered a semi-custom uh, fit uh, boot because when you call in, not only can you order your size and uh, you know, regular width or uh, double E width, but you can actually also ask for your instep, uh, low, mid, or uh, high, and you can actually have your uh, particular toe shape with the hide, color of the stitching, as I said, and uh, you know, if you want a double or single stitch well, uh, he'll kind of customize those little features for you and make sure that it is the perfect fit and that is a very important thing when you're uh, talking about Stingray uh, because of uh, the fact that these boots do not have any give that that hide Stingray does not give any at all uh, basically they're little calcium beads and they are tough as all get out and basically you're practically not going to break in these boots so you have to make sure that the fit is perfect right from the get-go um, and what i will tell you is this make sure you order a half a size larger uh, because these insoles are magic and you definitely do want to take advantage of using these insoles and if you don't get a half a size up uh, you might not have that opportunity because you might have to take it off because these uh, insoles are about a quarter to a half of a size slack. Um, so definitely make sure you guys order a, a half a size bigger. If you're right at you know 12 like I am, I sh you know you should order a 12 and a half just to make sure you get to use these uh, these uh, awesome insoles. Now uh, another thing. Um, is this one of the actual only uh, things that I have a little bit of a remark on is the finishing out on 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 the uh, on this section right here where it's not uh, finished out as clean as it could be but then again um, stingray is a very very tough hide you have to have some special knives to cut it and uh, stitching it perfect is a very hard mission. So I'm sure they did all the best that they could, but uh, that wouldn't be something that would bother me too much just because of the fact that I stack my jeans 
so that will cover it up uh and for you folks who don't uh, stack jeans it's fine um you know just know that this is a handcrafted boot and you know if anybody tells you well why is there a little imperfection right here you can tell them well it is stingray emphasize the fact that it is stingray that you are wearing stingray boots and let them know that that is some of the imperfections that happen uh, when you have an, an, a handcrafted boot uh, with uh, such a tough hide uh, you know it's, it's those little imperfections are gonna occur and um, you know just to kind of emphasize that you are wearing a, a different hide boot so I think that's a lot of the personality uh, that these boots have to offer uh, now these boots are coming in at $485 which is actually a very good price to pay for such a nice pair of uh, stingray boots uh, that you actually picked your own color in the shaft and in the uh, stitching and, and, and a few different aspects it's kind of like making your own boot and uh, having them uh, custom made for you uh, so and also you know for your instep and, and your sizing purposes it's going to be much better so uh, that is actually a very nice pair of uh, a stingray to own you know make sure that your fit is is on point so that is all i have for you guys today hope you guys liked the video if you did uh, please hit like and subscribe to the channel and i will be leaving a uh, note in the description below with uh, jw boot company's info so you could uh, email blake and have your custom pair or semi custom pair built for you uh, and uh, just know that it might just take a little bit longer uh, because the lemon wood pegs are scarce that's why I had to wait a little bit of time for mine to come in um, but definitely check it out he also has a bunch of different hides like uh, ostrich leg uh, full quill ostrich smooth ostrich bull neck um, he also has a uh, deer skin uh, like we talked about which is something that i really want to check out uh but yeah he'll have everything just uh, give him a shout out blake is a wonderful person and uh, he gives you a lot of nice little things with it so um if you guys have any uh questions please leave them in the comment section below and uh, let me know what you guys think of these boots that is all i have for you guys today have a good one